This is Skip with the Widescreen Gaming Forum, and welcome to episode 23 of our PC Gaming Buyer's Guide. This covers updates to the WSGF for the third and fourth weeks of November 2016. First up is Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. It's a first-person action-adventure sur survival horror game. It was developed by Head First Productions and released in March of 2006. It gets limited support across the board because it needs a hex edit for all aspects wider than 4x3. You'll need to start with a custom fix that is hosted on GitHub, and then from there you'll also want to apply some additional tweaks um, and some game-breaking bug fixes. We have links for all of these on the detailed report in the WSGF. The game is available on Steam for $5 and has very positive reviews, and it's often on sale for about 2 bucks. It's probably a lost gem that not too many people have played, and it comes highly recommended. Second, we have Beyond Good and Evil. It's the classic action-adventure title developed by Ubisoft and released in November 2003. It gets limited support across all display types. It needs a custom fix, which is available on the WSGF along with the instructions. The HUD does have issues in ultra-wide and multi-mon, particularly in multi-mon. The game is available on Steam and GOG for $10 and has very positive reviews on Steam. It often goes on sale for 5 bucks. If you haven't picked up this title, it's a great time to do so with fixes for modern displays, especially given that PC gamers didn't get the recent HD edition release. Here we have Lantern. It's an atmospheric exploration game where you play as a lantern floating through Asian-inspired worlds, recoloring them like a virtual coloring book. It was developed by Storm in a Teacup and released in November of 2016. It gets gold for widescreen in 4K Ultra HD and limited for ultra-wide and multi-mon. For ultra-wide and multi-mon, you'll need the Borderless Gaming app. The game is available on Steam for $7 and has mixed reviews. However, it only has 11 reviews in total, but has a demo. I'm always intrigued by unique indie games, and Lantern certainly fits that mold. While I can't give a recommendation on the game, there's nothing to lose with trying the free demo. Here we have Outlast 2. It's a first-person survival horror title from Red Barrels Games. It has a release date of sometime in 2017, and we tested the demo here for our information. It gets gold for widescreen, ultra-wide, and 4K Ultra HD, and it gets silver for Multimon. The only blemish in Multimon is a spanned HUD. If you're a fan of the first one, or of survival horror titles in general, be sure to grab the demo and know that it has, it has solid display support. Here we have Rogue Stormers. It's a roguelike action platforming title with competitive and co-op modes. It gets gold across the board for all configuration types. The game is available on Steam for $20. Unfortunately, it has mixed reviews, and with a $20 price tag, it's hard to spend that much on a gamble. The game does go on sale periodically for $15, but it went all the way down to $5 during the Thanksgiving holidays. If you're interested in the genre, $5 isn't bad for a gamble, but we certainly can't recommend it at full price. Here up we have Disney Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. It is a platformer set in the world of Mickey Mouse and developed by Junction Point. Junction Point was based in Austin, Texas and was founded by famed developer Warren Spector. They only made two titles, the original Epic Mickey and this sequel. Epic Mickey 2 gets gold for widescreen and 4K and silver for ultra-wide, and Multimon is unsupported. There is a 30 FPS cap on the game, but there is a fix outlined in the detailed report to upgrade that to a 60 FPS uh, gameplay. The game is available on Steam for $20 and has mixed reviews. It's often on sale for $5 and is available with other titles in a couple of different Disney bundles and mega packs. We certainly can't recommend the standalone title at $20, but if you're interested, grab it on sale or as part of a bundle where it comes with better games. And finally, we have Darksiders The War Mastered Edition. This is the recently released uh, upgrade and update to the original Darksiders, which has massive graphical updates um, and a, a whole host of improvements. It was developed by Vigil Games and released just recently at the end of November 2016. It gets gold for widescreen, ultra-wide, and 4K Ultra HD, and silver for Multimon. The only blemish is a spanned HUD and Multimon. The game was released on Steam with a full retail price of $20, but it released with an 80% discount on release day, bringing the price down to just $4. It has very positive reviews, and if you've never gotten around to playing the original release, which needed custom fixes for ultra-wide and Multimon, go ahead and grab the updated version. 
If you took it for a spin almost seven years ago, it may be worth diving back into. It's certainly worth the $4 sales price, and we can also recommend it at the full $20 price, especially if this is your first time picking it up. 